We've all seen those sweet e-bikes cruising around on paved roads, but guess what? they can also go off-road. As you're pedaling, you get to a tough terrain, the bike will start to pick up with the motor and it'll assist you to go through those tough terrain areas. All right. However, the transition can be a little bumpy. So for some e-bike off-roading tips, we turn to Ryan Schultze, founder of Maverick Electric Cycles. For starters, safety first. What are some big takeaways when you're out and about on a trail for the first time? Don't forget to consider these things. The thing I'm always going to tell someone is make sure you have a, a proper helmet. There are standard helmets most road cyclists use, but when going off-road, Ryan likes helmets that cover more of your head. In addition to that, we've added a safety kit on the back of this bike, so it has a first aid kit in there, additional tire pump, additional tubes for your bike. How important is it to let people know where you're going on a trail and to always travel with a buddy as well? The utmost importance. You never want to be in a scenario where you're 50 miles off from a place where you left and you're very remote and you have no way to get a hold of someone. Next, make sure your e-bike is off-road ready. Let's kind of uh, talk about a few of these different ways that these bikes can ride. When you're going off-road, so you have the wide tires. Those will have little knobs on them so they'll catch the gravel and make sure that you're getting traction as you're cruising. You want the tires to be as tough as possible. When we live out here in the desert, for example, you're going to have cacti needles. You're, you're at risk for getting a puncture. And it's always good to have a bike that's able to take the bumps. And you want to make sure your bike's going to have either a front or rear suspension to give yourself a comfortable ride. Explain how the gears work with an electric bike. If you're putting this into first gear on the manual shifter, it's going to ride just like you would when you're hitting the first gear. If you're riding seven, you're going to have a lot of resistance. But when off-roading, Ryan says the mechanical gears can take some strain off the motor on steeper terrain. I always advise someone if you're in the if you're riding an electric, put it in seventh. Finally. Know your limits. Who doesn't love having a motor when you're out there riding, right? Speaking of that motor, how fast do these bikes go? They get up to 28 miles an hour. With that said, please pay attention to the trails that you're riding on, restrictions all across the United States, mm -hmm. and make sure you're uh, following the proper regulations. How long does the charge usually last for an electric bike? So they can range anywhere from 40 to 65, 75 miles. This bike right here specifically does 75 miles on a full charge. But even with a dead battery, e-bikes can be pedaled like a regular bike. Even so, Ryan says, Make sure you map out where you're gonna go. I'd recommend these phone accessories where you can actually put the map right there in front of you so you kind of have your navigation. Get your motor revving and head out off the highway.